from 267 Media House and today I'm exercising a privilege to stand in for Swag Magazine and on the floor today, or should I say over the couch, I have the current face of Swag Magazine, Miss Sedi Lesedi Wantata and um, it's a pleasure ma'am to have you today uh, on this interview with you, sharing information that only you know and maybe you want to view it out to us. Thanks for the invite. Um, Swag Magazine, ladies and gentlemen, is all about recognizing talent in the youth and mobilizing them to exploit it to its extremities. And Sejiwa Antata is one of those talented young ladies in the role, uh, in the model industry, should I say, who definitely has talent, as I have mentioned. Now, what does it, be, uh, what does it mean for you uh, being the current face of Swag Magazine? I must say it means everything to me. First of all, swag is very exclusive, it's hot, it's for the youth, it's for us. Everybody is fighting to be with them, you know. These guys are very talented. For me, it's my first cover and you know what, I'm embracing every moment, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's one of the moments yeah. you've been waiting for. Yeah. So what does exactly does it mean for you being a face of, for such kind of a magazine that is well known and uh, it has a name on its way? It has created a lot of hype around, like I have a lot of crazy fans and those who are of course important, some of them want to work with me and I mean in different projects, stuff like that. But um, lately I've been having a lot of friends, especially on Facebook, I really want to close it because of, you know, all this whatever. But hey, the moment is good, it's my moment, let me just uh, have fun. Now what you do, being a, a model, mm -hmm. it's so demanding mm -hmm. and uh, some can say it's challenging at the same time. Now how do you balance the challenge, how do you face the challenge and what is your plan uh, for standing out and reach your height? I must say I have uh, a very outstanding personality. I am quite confident and I can talk and I can walk the walk. I love modeling. I'll do anything to get there. But uh, truly speaking, there are a lot of challenges out there. There are people who actually think you're not that beautiful or, you know, you get a big nose or, you know, your hair is not that, you know, fleshy and all that. You need to be strong. Try to find inspiration from different, you know, uh, mediums or whatever or people, you know. Try to motivate yourself every day. You can yeah, make so it. So you use the confidence that exactly, you have, exactly. believing in what you do. Yeah, true. Yeah. Um, if I should mention this, most of uh, models, sometimes they complain about uh, her being oversized and uh, not meeting their requirements. Yeah. But when I see you, I, I see a quite beautiful lady who mm -hmm. can stand out uh, from other models. But I believe uh, you have yeah, some yeah. things that you Honestly speaking, uh, gaining weight is a major problem. Like coming to this interview wasn't really my plan. I was tripping about it because um, I haven't been going to the gym and of course eating a lot. I'm on a long holiday. I just graduated and all that. So I'm having a problem with my weight. Right now I feel like I'm so fat. But hey, I'm here and I'm back on the gym and my diet and all that. You have to be not really anorexic, you know, but you have to, you know, keep shape tone up and you know look good you don't need to be that skinny but and yeah, maybe I like a little bit of information on the modern industry but I say you still have the look that's my opinion anyway. thanks a lot thanks You're welcome and uh, now let's get a little bit in, in, into life in general um, what's your formula for getting through life on a daily basis mm. yeah. How do you, uh, maybe it's the same questions, the, the, the past one, how do you face challenges uh, when you wake up in, mo in the morning? What exactly do you want to see yourself uh, doing tomorrow, you know? For me, I just go with the flow. I actually don't keep schedule or journals or all that. It's all in the head. When I wake up, it's like tick, tick, yeah. Maybe I have a project to do with uh, some students or anything that I'll be looking forward to, all my assignments and all that, I'll figure that out and sort it out. Mm. I don't do much. I don't plan, you know, I don't stress myself. I just 
live every every day as it comes just relax uh, and take is it, it is easy. it not difficult to balance your no no no, no. you just your need life to. and what you're doing do you take this as a career or it's just an interest i okay fine um let me say swag has given me that stepping stone to say this is big they recognized me they like what i do they know i have potential they told me why not step up you know i am planning to do something about it something really big i have a project on the pipeline i can't mention but uh, swag is one of the people who actually motivated me so much and my friends of course still swags whatever you know they did it for me i love it yeah as, so. a, as a lady who has been motivated mm. um we believe in role models mm. you know mm. and most of us have role models do you believe in that notion of having role models and do you have any that you will want to mention to us I believe role models exist, you know, those are the people we learn from every day, you know, me and you are an exemplary to some other students outside or just the children or whatsoever, you know, we look up to each other like in society. I, I have a, a chain of people on my list. I don't look up to one person, my mom being one of them, she's a very strong woman, very beautiful and you know. I am here because of her, you know, she motivated me to that extent. But, you know, a taxi man or a grandmother at the village can also be my motivation, you know. It doesn't really have to be somebody who is rich. Being humble, you know, seeing somebody on the streets can, you know, instill something beautiful in me and I cherish that. Okay, inspiring mm -hmm. words. Um, as the youth, as a youth, mm -hmm. uh, we have been, you and I, mm -hmm. as part of the youth generation, we have been criticized by our adults that we are living in the thrills and spills of alcohol. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you see as, where do you see us as the youth of today? Do you believe that we still have a chance in becoming future leaders of uh, tomorrow? Mm -hmm. You know, um, if we, we could actually make a change, which is supposed to start with us it starts with me then you then you know everybody else for you to contribute in the soya you need to change yourself and then yeah. contribute you know what i mean yeah you just need to have those morals guiding principles for yourself know what's right and what's wrong in order for you to make informed decisions which will actually contribute to our vision 2016 at the end of the day okay. we all need to grow up like you know our generation it's all about growing and getting there yeah. Okay. Now getting into the hype, today's hype, mm. uh, FIFA 2010 World Cup. Mm. Are you a football fanatic and where do you see Africa, the face of Africa in, mm. in this? Do you, do you believe Africa has a chance because of this? I'm actually uh, anti-football. I don't mm -hmm. like football. I've never liked it. I actually don't understand what is going on in the field. I don't want to lie to you. But at the moment I'm very happy that South Africa is the host, you know. That's our neighbor. Those are the people who are putting us on the map right now. You know, the culture, the infrastructure, just beautiful things are happening mm. in our land. You know, right now, people know about Botswana from England, from wherever, you know. Mm. I wish I was home even, you know. Yeah, I would say yeah, the that ignorance would, about Africa you know what I mean? is yeah. reduced. Yeah, I would mm. agree with you. Uh, I would say it was nice having you today at the city one Papa Thank you very much. Um, I believe people will continue to read uh, about you and get more uh, about the your your role uh, in the upcoming edition of Swag Magazine. Mm -hmm. Now before I set you free, uh, is there anything that you want to leave us with? Maybe a word of encouragement to young ladies who want to become like you? Okay, I would say instead of thinking of where you are right now, think of where you want to be, where you want to see yourself because it takes 20 years to like achieve an overnight success. Try to make change right now. If you are, you've been sleeping, wake up and then act on what you want to achieve because there's absolutely no time. You don't want to regret when you are 30 and say, oh, I could have done this and this and that. Yeah. You know, start now because I've started. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe one young lady has uh, taken that, those words into heart. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. And I believe you will follow the issue on Sedi Wantata on the upcoming edition of Swag Magazine. Until we meet again, thank you.